Welcome brothers. In this video we're going to learn how to set up a congregation master. To start with we open the file that you received in your email. This is the accounts file. Uh, take a look at the very top of the screen here and you'll see the name of the file. In this case it's accounts dash 11.7.3 dot xls. So we're starting with what I refer to as the grandfather master file. And so what we want to do is take this file and duplicate it and save it with a new name called our congregation master. To begin with we're going to set up various things that we use each month that are the same and so that we don't have to keep typing them over and over again. So we'll begin with uh, the congregation name. In this case, we'll type in the name, and then we'll put in our city, and our state. We'll leave the month, just month. I'll explain that to you later. And we'll put the year, because we'll be working in the year 2015. Okay. Now let's go down, page down to the uh, second page. And here we'll set up our m normal monthly contributions to the branch. This first number will be computed automatically for you by adding the various uh, receipts from the meetings each w each week. So those will be totaled for you and put there. The world work, the worldwide work resolution, that varies from month to month. So I'll leave that blank. KHAH construction worldwide. Our monthly contribution would be eight hundred and fifty dollars. And the GAA, the global assistance arrangement. That monthly amounts 95. And the TOAA, let's say that's 82. Payment of charges on account, we don't have any for our congregation. Additional category if needed, we're going to leave that zero. Vehicle expense, we'll leave that zero. And then funds on deposit with the branch, this is how you make deposits to that fund. And we're not going to make any deposits on a regular basis, so I'll leave that as zero. Okay, that'll take care of that on the S26. Before we leave the S26, let's go over to the right side and work on the transaction legend and adjust any names that we want to use on a regular basis. In this top section here are the funds going into the checking account. And I don't see any that we want to change on a regular basis because we don't have any special project going on. But if you do, you can change these to your name of your special project. There's like four, one, two, then down here is two more that you can custom name to whatever you want. Uh, let's go down to the funds out of checking account. And here you'll see on the left side, these are the descriptions that will show up on the S26. And on the right side, these are the descriptions that will show up on the S30. Right now we're going to change the descriptions that we want to custom for our haul. And let's start with the HTC code for our monthly share of expenses to the operating committee. Since the check that I write is not made out to Pleasantville and Rock Hill operating committee fund, I want to change that by hitting F2 to get into edit mode. And just change that to uh, whatever the name of the operating committee is. I'll just put uh, XYZ 
congregation and we'll just call it XYZ Congregation Operating Committee Fund and then below that we want to change the name of the circuit overseer and I'll just put uh, I'll put Wild Bill. There. And we're done. The rest of them I'll change if I need to later. But that's the only ones I could think of right now that we write to, write checks to on any kind of regular basis. So that way we don't have to keep doing it month after month. Let's go up here. And uh, that'll take care of all the changes right now for the S26. Okay, let's go to the S30 form. Click on that. And the only thing that we need to type in here is our name. And we go down to where we sign. And here we could put whatever our name is. Call it Bill Bob. And that'll take care of that form. That's all we need to type there. And we'll go over to TO62 form and do the same thing. Go down here and type in your name. And that's all we have to do for that form. Okay, we're back to the S26, and let's click on the word month to put our cursor up there. And let's take a look up at the top. Remember, the name of the file is accounts 11.7.3. So we're still working with our granddad master file, and we want to change that name before we save it. So we'll go over here to the Office button, click on the Office button, and go down to Save As. You don't want to save it. You don't want to write over our master master file because that'll uh, destroy the purity of it. And we don't want to do anything to it. We want to have it as a backup if we need to. So we're going to save as and create a whole new file called our congregation master. We'll go over here, Excel 97 to 2003 workbook. Click on that. Here is where we will rename the file. So we'll call it uh, Wild West Dash Master. I'll delete that. And I'll leave the version number there. So that'll tell me what version my master is. And when a new version comes out, I'll know to uh, change it and update it with the new file and then we'll click save when you save an XLS file for the first time Microsoft Excel will pop up this message trying to get you to save it as an XML format and you will want to say no to that because we want to save it as an XLS format that's a 97 to 2003 workbook file so click no and you'll notice when you look at the very top there's our new name Wild West Master 1173 so now we have a congregation master that what we'll do in the future when we let's say begin January's accounting for January we will open this file it'll open to this page because this is where we saved it to the month and that'll remind us to say, oh, okay, we've got to change the name to whatever month we're working with. In this case, January. And now we will save the file immediately. Save as, because we're going to create a new file. 
a 97 to 2003 workbook file. And now we're going to call this one January 2015. Okay, now we've saved the file. If you look back at the top again, now you see the file that we're working on is the new one, January 2015 XLS. Now we can begin inputting our data for January and continue on with the month, and we will not have destroyed our congregation master or our grandfather master. They'll always be there, ready for us to open again should we need them. So. I appreciate you looking at the video, and I hope it was of help to you. Thank you.